floating on top of the carbon dioxide in the container. <laughs> When they take it out and put it on the table, it's heavier than air. But as it warms up, the balloon regains its buoyancy. And so we'll put that into nitrogen. Put it on a spindle and then put the bottom of the bottle into the hot, warm water. There's warm water there. Carbon, of course, is black like the pencil lead, and it's still burning in carbon dioxide. That is the magnesium oxide, is a white powder. But if I go into it, you see that black stuff, that's carbon. Start to get drops of liquid oxygen. And we'll see what color it is. So how do we know this is oxygen? You just take my word for it, or is the blue color give it away? <laughs> so here's steel wool, and uh, if we add oxygen to it, what liquid oxygen does, it accelerates the burning dramatically. The space shuttle is hydrogen, liquid hydrogen, and liquid oxygen. And that's what gives it the great thrust to get off the ground. Now, it's a liquid. Watch, I can pass this right through it. And it stays there. I can stick my finger in for a moment and nothing much happens. It just bursts the vapor around my hand and doesn't transfer enough heat to cool my hand down significantly. <laughs> when magnetic fields try to change going through the conductor, so let's see what happens when I knock it off. I knock it off, and instead of falling, it just floats there. Same field. No nitrogen, so it's warming up. It's not going to be a superconductor for very long. So I'm going to turn it back this way. <laughs> If I connect the inside to the outside, three, two, one. <laughs> and so the weight of it keeps it from going up as high. Although if I put it on there and turn the thing on, then it will just hang on there because it's repelling that. This is used industrially for metal forming. Okay, so we're almost there. Um, take just a minute. So I'll play. Three, two, one. Let's see how it compares to a dime. Up there. Any questions? I don't know. We may have to take bids on that one. Oh. <laughs>